Hello folks and welcome to this new video, my name is Andrew and today we're going to see how to make a counter, a countdown. Now, I don't want to insult your intelligence with this because I know that you can get this done by yourself because there is already a tutorial, a timer tutorial <laughs> and just by subtracting it you can make this but, but today we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay. So guys, what we're going to do is basically this thing here. We're going to create a countdown. Like you can see here in the scene 3, I have basically a container. This container contains a few elements and I have three text nodes here and they are just to show you visually what is happening. And I have a timer node. Now the timer itself is based on physics and the wait time is 0.1 and this is going to call us the you know the tenth of a second this way we're going to you know to update our variables in the tenth of a second and we have an auto start so this way the counter the timer starts on the start of the game but actually you can deactivate this and kind of you know you can make it start when you start the level by click mouse or i don't know you can make this by script as well another thing you may notice here is that i have a container control container and it's called countdown and in this one i have some script i'm going to you know delete everything because we're going to make it by scratch guys okay guys we need three variables to make this thing we need minutes we need seconds and we need tenth of seconds another thing that you might want is if you want to introduce hours uh, you need a variable for hours as well. Two of those variables are going to be export. This way we can access them directly from the editor without accessing the script. And we can choose with these variables the amount of time we're going to count down. And now what I'm going to do is to export this variable and this variable is going to be, you know, export. It's going to be an integer and it's a variable and it's going to be, you know, minutes and I'm going to give the value of zero because we're going to change these values inside of the editor now I'm going to export another one that is going to be always an integer and what else It's going to be a variable and it's going to be seconds and last but not least we need another variable and this is going to be just a variable doesn't need to be exported and it's going to be tenth of a second. Now, another important thing is to connect our timer directly to our script here, and I'm going to connect it, just signals and timeout. I'm going to connect to it to the countdown, and here inside of the function, I'm going to subtract from tenth of seconds the minus equals one, and that's all. Now, inside of this function here, we're going to check and subtract stuff if the seconds are greater than zero if the tenth of a second are zero or lower and we're going to subtract something from the seconds and seconds minus equals one and then we're going to set the tenth of second to ten now to represent this visually we need to change the text and but to make that we need to check actually if the variables are greater than 10 or greater than zero because variables doesn't generate double numbers automatically so basically we need to make it you know to hard code if seconds are greater or equal to 10 we're going to set the text of seconds so seconds set yes set text since variables are numbers, we need to convert them in strings, so string. And here we're going to put seconds. And we're going to put an else here just to make sure that if the seconds are lower than 10, we're going to put some extra stuff there. So text seconds dot set text text again. And here we're going to make it zero plus and here we're going to put a string i'm going to make the same thing for tenths of seconds so basically i'm just going to copy paste this going to change these names in dsec last but not least we need to make sure that minutes are going to to work as well and we're going to check if minutes are are greater than zero so and seconds are you know lower or equal to zero subtract from minutes one and we're going to set the seconds 
to 60 equals 60 and we need to make sure that the minutes are visually you know represented so basically what we're going to do is now to give our minutes and it starts everything is working fine all right guys this was all hopefully it helped and hopefully you learn something if you are really really beginner because this is a beginner thing but i think that you you should get to this without watching tutorials because you know how a clock works or a timer works okay we're finally in the end hopefully you are safe and sound and having good time with your dears and this was all, I'm Andrew, leave a like and subscribe to the channel because new stuff is going to come and more important thing, keep making games!